you know, Tony Robbins has changed so many people's lives. And, and yes, that's young me with young Tony at his resort in Fiji a whole, a whole long time back. Let me give you the top 20 quotes of what I think Tony has said that has changed lives and will change your life too. Well, it changed mine. Number one, there is no such thing as failure. There are only results. Speaks for itself. You know, we got to learn from our mistakes, learn from our failures and keep going and get better results. Number two, to effectively communicate, we must realize that we are all different in the way we perceive the world and use an understanding as a guide to our communication with others. If you think other people listen to you and understand you the way you understand, we miss it. That's why we do profiling tools. It's why we do all those things to learn about our own communication style. Tony was obviously famous for NLP, VAC, visual, auditory, kinesthetic. But that sort of thing is where if we understand how others communicate, we can do better too. Number three, simple one. If you've always done what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always gotten. I don't know if Tony said it first but it definitely stood out for me when he said it to me. I've always got to change. If I want things to change, I got to change first. Number four, stay committed to your decisions, but hang on, the second part of it, but stay flexible in your approach, committed. So once you've set the goal, don't change the goal, change the way to get to the goal, change the plan, change the strategy, change those things, but stay committed to what you've decided to do. Uh, number five, the path to success is take massive action, okay? Um, he adds in this one word, though, that I think is probably the vital thing. He says, the path to success is take massive determined action, meaning you've planned it, you've determined it, you know what you're going to do out there to get the success. Thank you, Tony, for that one. Number six, for changes to be of any true value, they've got to be lasting and consistent quick, simple changes. And that's where I think one of the great things Tony does is he helps us delve into our values and helps us delve into who we are as people, not just our skill set shift and just changing those things on the surface type thing. Number seven, dead simple, but very true. There's always a way if you're committed. You know the old story of the chicken and the, and the pig, you know, when bacon and eggs, the pig's committed, the chicken's just participating. If you're committed, Tony's very clear on it. There's always a way. Thank you again, Tony, for that one. Number eight, whatever happens, take responsibility. I love that one. Whatever happens, take responsibility. Good, bad, indifferent. Well, I put myself in this situation. Now, I know there's times in my life where I've really struggled with that. It was like, hang on, hang on. I didn't. But ultimately, it's like, all right, I got myself into this. I got to get myself out of it type thing. Very important aspect of it. Number nine, there's no abiding success without commitment. I, I can't use, I mean, Tony keeps using this word commitment, and I think it's for a reason. It's a massive part of yours and my success. I, I kept learning that from him, and I kept doing it today, and day in and day out, focus on that commitment. Number 10, successful people ask better questions, and as a result, they get better answers. Uh, I know as a business coach, for me, it's massively important that the questions I ask, not only others, but really the questions I ask of myself. You know, when you think of what questions you're asking yourself, are you asking yourself massive questions? You know, how do I achieve 100? Or how do I achieve 1,000? How do I achieve a million? Whatever the question is, but are you going massive in your questions of yourself or very small in your questions of your success of yourself? Number 11, a real decision is measured by the fact that you've taken a new action. That's just the first half of it, by the way. A real decision, and you know it's a decision because you've taken real action. If there's no action, you haven't truly decided. That's the second part of it. You know, a great decision, I was once told, brings up fear and excitement. Sometimes you got to let excitement win. But you know what Tony's saying to us is only once you've taken action do you know you've actually made a decision. If there's no action, there's no decision type thing. Number 12, most people fail in life because they major in minor things. Oh, uh, Someone said to me the other day, something along the lines of, you know, the reason most people don't achieve their dreams is they never actually go for it. You know, majoring in minor things, being really great at things that don't really make a big difference. Thank you, Tony, for the reminder on that one. Uh, number 13, personal power is the ability to take action. This is possibly one of my favorites of the whole thing. 
personal power, your personal power, my personal power. I'm in power if I can take action. If I don't have, a, if I can't take action, I'm not in my personal power. So make sure you get into your personal power a lot. I did a lot of training with Tony around that whole NLP thing and anchoring and making sure I got that. Keep learning from this man. He's a genius. Number 14, the people who shape our lives and our cultures have the ability to communicate a vision or a quest or a joy or a mission. Let's break that down just for a second. The communication, okay? The people that shape our lives and cultures have a communication ability. And he says it's in four main areas, a vision, a quest, a joy, or a mission. I like to think that a vision or a quest or a mission of relatively similar type things, if you can communicate where you're going, the quest, the journey, the mission, then people will come along with you and you'll change lives out there, specifically your own. Um, Number 15, the more rejection you get, the better you are. The more you've learned, the closer you are to your outcome. If you can handle rejection, you'll learn to get everything you want. Let's break that down because that's such so powerful. If you and and I, obviously, can learn to handle rejection, then we can have the ability to get everything we want because from rejection comes learning. Well, if if you're willing to learn from your rejection, definitely rejection brings learning. That's important. Thank you, Tony, for the reminder. Number 16, setting goals is the first step in turning the invisible into the visible. You know, to take something that's in your mind and create it in real life, step one, Write it down, set a goal, do the thing. Too many people have all these things, but they never put pen to paper. Uh, 17, I'm going to stay very simple, live with passion. Tony, I I still remember as a young man, I think I was 20 or 21. I think it was his first ever event in Australia, sitting in the front row with a couple other guys, Simon and John, and uh, they went on to achieve amazing things, one in real estate, one in advertising. Here's me in coaching. And we sat there in that front row, and I remember the passion that came out of Tony in that event just blew my mind. Number 18, identify your problems, but give power and energy to the solutions. Don't give power and energy to the problem. Yeah, you got to identify the challenges, identify the problems, but the power and the energy has to be given to the solution, not to it. The focus on the solution, focus on the winning, focus on the outcome not focusing on that challenge. Number 19, leaders spend 5% of their time on the problem and 95% of their time on the solution. Get over it and crush it. I could have just put that last little quote in there, get over it and crush it, but it's very clear from Tony's perspective. Don't invest the time on, on the problem that you can focus on the solution. 5%, 95%, even if it's 20, 80, whichever way you want to look at it, the minority of time on the problem, majority of time on the solution. And finally, number 20, I want to leave you with this one because I think it's vital. The Tony Robbins said it clearly, your past doesn't equal your future. You and I can grow, you and I can change, you and I can keep learning and becoming better. And the better we get, the better life gets for us. You know, never wish your life were easier. Wish that you were better. The Jim Rohn said that when he taught it to Tony, he taught it to me. I hope these quotes inspire you to take some action today and get on out there and keep on learning. Thanks, Tony Robbins.